To update your FlySight's firmware on Windows, first connect your FlySight to your computer via USB. Then, push and hold the button on the FlySight until it resets and the light turns orange. This should take about 10 seconds. Once the light turns orange, open a browser and navigate to flysite.ca slash firmware. Click the Browse button and upload the flysite.txt file from the root folder of your FlySite. Then click the Upload File button and a list of available firmware versions will appear below. In the left column, you'll find a link to download the firmware itself. In the middle column, you'll find release notes for each firmware version. In the right column, you'll either find a link for a stack update or the text up to date if no stack update is required for that firmware version. Find the firmware you want to install, then click on the link in the left column to download the firmware update and, if it's present, click on the link in the right column to download the stack update. Open a new File Explorer window, then navigate to your FlySite. If it's not already present, create a new folder called FW. Then open a second File Explorer window and navigate to your Downloads folder. Here, you should see a file called app.sfb, which is your firmware update. And if you downloaded one, you should see a file called stack.bin, which is your stack update. Select app.sfb and, if it's present, stack.bin, then drag them to the FW folder on your fly site. Once the files are copied, eject your fly site. Then, unplug your FlySight from your computer. If you're updating just the firmware, the orange light should stay on for a few seconds, then turn off for a few seconds, and then you will be able to turn on your FlySight. If you're updating both the stack and the firmware, the orange light will stay on for a few seconds, then turn off for about 30 seconds, then come on again for a few seconds, turn off again for a few seconds, and then you will be able to turn on your fly site.